Meantime, the News 5 family mourning the loss tonight of legendary broadcaster, weatherman, host, and an all-around good guy. Don Webster. And Webster passed away this morning at the age of 79. For more than 35 years, Don Webster was one of the most popular figures in Cleveland television, and I would say even beyond Cleveland. Tonight, News 5's John Kosick gives us a look back at this television legend and icon. It really is. And in just a couple of days, December 17th, we're going to celebrate the day this place went on the air 71 years ago. It is a history of this station that cannot be told without the contributions of one Don Webster. Hey, let's go with the Upbeat Show! Don Webster's introduction to Cleveland audiences came in 1964 with Upbeat, after those behind the show spotted him on air in Canada. He had seen Don Webster on a, a dance party show and said, that's our guy. He's our Dick Clark. Soon, this show originating from the studio we now do the news in was seen not just in Cleveland, but in over 100 markets around the country. Webster recalling earlier this year the thrill of introducing young acts, even if he didn't think they were necessarily going to make it. A couple of guys who used to be Tom and Jerry who were on. Webster remembers watching them with singer Bobby Goldsboro. And uh, Bobby said, what do you think? I said, I don't think so. It's too folksy. The act, though, was no longer going by Tom and Jerry. They were now using their real names. Simon and Garfunkel. Yes, Upbeat was their first TV appearance. Tragically, it was the last for Otis Redding, killed in a plane crash 51 years ago this week after this appearance. Pieces of the plane are on display at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and so too is a celebration of Upbeat and Webster, who told us of visiting the hall earlier this year with his son and daughter-in-law. Went up to buy a ticket, and my son said, what about people who were in the Rock Hall? You know, do you charge them $25? And the guy said, no, you're our guests. <laughs> For over 35 years, Webster was also our guest, a fixture in our living rooms and at our dinner tables. He did it all the News 5 because, well, he could do it all. He knew how to connect with you. He knew how to reach right through the camera, grab you, and say, listen to me, I got important stuff to tell you. He'll make you smile, he'll make you laugh. And that's a gift. You can't teach that. And he made those around him feel welcome. It had a lot to do with that quality, that genuine uh, interest in people and curiosity about things, and just really doing it all with a twinkle in his eye and a smile. And he did have such a great smile. You know, when we last talked with Don, we asked him about the L word, legacy. He said he didn't know, hadn't thought about it. At 79, while he enjoyed looking back, he was still very much looking forward. John Kasich, News 5.